I went to see a girl the other day at the Coast Playhouse. She's a, a New York, well, she's not really from New York, but she lived in New York for many years. I, um, I said, awesome. The friend of mine was with me. She just couldn't believe it. And she usually doesn't say a word. This gal, I'm telling you, or lady, I should say, Mary Satrakian, from San Francisco originally. That's right. Went to New York. Uh, spent 10 years there. But let's growing up in San Francisco. Fun? Just wonderful. Really? I grew up just north of San Francisco, across the Golden Gate Bridge, uh -huh. a little town, Kentfield, California, and uh, have three brothers. I always wanted to be a singer. Because in the mm -hmm. show, in this particular show, you're doing a one-woman show That's right. at the Coast Playhouse. Mm -hmm. You uh, are singing, the opening is singing with your dad. Is that your dad? That is my dad. And you were three and a half? Three and a half years old. Tell me about that. My dad is such an incredible man. He is multi-talented and loves music so much. And he was a performer himself. And ah. so he had myself and my three brothers around a microphone from the time we could talk. Uh -huh. And so I had these wonderful audio tapes of me at three and a half years old singing, as you heard, right. belting out, uh -huh. I want a girl just like the girl from and, Mary Tyler. And on key, and on key. <laughs> right, that's that's right. You have to tell my audience, you're on key at three <laughs> that's, and a half. That's it, that's wow, right. Wow, what a, what a. So he really started the torch inside me of just loving to sing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You studied uh, voice in San Francisco? I uh, studied, uh, uh, at Stanford University. Okay. Yeah. Great. School. And then I went off to New England Conservatory and got a master's in voice performance. I, I wanted to get a technique that I could have for the rest of my life. Mary, I'm looking at you. You really, because I was watching you on that stage, you really wanted to be an opera singer. Am I correct? Well, I really wanted to be, I, I loved classical music, but I think deep inside I always wanted to do Broadway. Broadway? I think, I oh, think okay. deep inside. Yeah. But there was a part of me that thought, I have to try this and be able to, to sing opera too, uh -huh. which I do in the show too. But I sing everything in the show, as you know. Everything. Wow. Who did you, I mean, first, the very first, when you went to New York, you left San Francisco, mm -hmm. went to New York, mm -hmm. spent 10 years there. Mm -hmm. Very first. What happened? Tell me. Very Girl first Girl from California, oh. arriving in Manhattan. I had been to Boston for three years, so I literally went from Boston to okay. New York. But it was really the first big city and uh, I lived in the village at a friend's flat looking for a place to live. The first week I was there I got mm -hmm. into the chorus of the Light Opera in Manhattan and sort of working my way up but I, I was a secretary during the day mm -hmm. and also got a waitering, waitering job at that point. Right. Made five dollars a show uh -huh. at Light Opera Manhattan so thirty five dollars a week. Experience. It was fantastic. Yeah. I was on stage every uh -huh. night uh -huh. and and that was amazing experience to have that your legs on that stage. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Then you got into Broadway. A Broadway, Broadway. Tell me, what show first? Hello, Dolly. Hello. With, Cha with Carol, Carol Channing. Channing. I had been the in The Revival one. The Revival. Okay. I had been on tour with Broadway shows like Les Miserables and uh, just this last year. It's a difficult Opera. show. Les Miserables. Every time I see that show, ugh, it's I've, a tough show. I understudied 12 roles. I know. did 12 parts in that show. So that was my big break to get into the Broadway scene. I never really cared for that show. It's yeah, just, it's, it's long. You know why? It's, it's a downer for me. It yeah. was, it's long and a downer. I want to go to the theater to be happy. To be happy, yeah. Yeah, no, and I your show is that. really happy. Thank it really, you. It gives it something that... Uh, then you toured with Phantom. Phantom. Uh, tell me about Phantom of the Opera. That was... Uh, a really big break for me. I got a wonderful principal role, Madame Giry. She's actually a lot older than I am, but uh -huh. with the makeup and the acting that uh -huh. I got to do, it was really wonderful. You're a good actress, you know that. Thank you. Uh, you're a singing Anna Magnani-ish type on that stage sometimes. Really? You become, yeah, you become a little Anna Magnani-ish. Mm -hmm. Young, though. Mm. A young Anna Magnani singer, mm. you know. You're a great actress. Thank and you. not just a great singer, but you take that stage this little theater you take over, it's like incredible. You're finding it wonderful at this little theater? Oh, the it's, coast. it's just perfect. The 99 seats and with a raked audience so they can really look right. down. The audience to be a fly on the wall looking into my intimate life. And they are. And they are. That's so exciting. Yes, they really are. Yeah. Tell me more about uh, touring on Broadway with Carol Channing. and. Oh, that was a wonderful pre-Broadway tour, and then we went to Broadway. All Carol right. Channing, what an incredible lady. What did you learn from her? I learned stamina. As you know in my show, there's so much stamina. She did eight shows <laughs> a week. I'm going to get that with you because you really have the energy. Wow. Oh, and ahead. eight shows a week, she'd be out there just 
pouring her soul in, pouring her soul into every show. She uh -huh. never walked through a single thing. Uh, her determination, her commitment, I think those things really impressed me, really impressed me. And she was wonderful to us, and I think uh -huh. that's so important also. Evita, uh -huh. one of my favorite too. Yes. Evita, Eva Perón. Tell me about that. Yes, you played I was it? on tour. Yes, I did. Uh, in Europe. In Europe. In Germany. I played it in Duisburg, Germany. Ooh, what a classy place to be. Fantastic. And the I've lived in Germany, in Wiesbaden, oh. Frankfurt, and we, uh, all, uh, I oh, love it. toured Germany. all those cities. Yeah, love I, them. I love it. It's great. Mm -hmm. You did a Vita there? Yes, I did. I bet they loved you. They did. I was did so they? thrilled. I was so thrilled. The audiences are great there. Wonderful. They just, they really just embraced that show. Fanny Bryce. I look mm -hmm. at you sometimes and I see little Fanny Bryce there too. Tell yeah. me about Fanny Bryce. You did well, I did it in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, Charlotte has become a, a home away from home. When I got off tour, I, I went there and did some summer stock. I did the narrator and Joseph and uh -huh. they were, they Joseph called me. Joseph is the uh, color, Technicolor? Yes. 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 Okay. And, and CPCC Summer Theater called me and said, we want to do a show for you. What and, and we see you as Fanny Bryce, we want you to come and do that. Mm -hmm. And then they said, and when you're done with Fanny Bryce, please come and do your one woman show too. And so the show you s that is now in LA is the first time that I expanded, the show used to be an hour, it's right, now 90 right, minutes. Right. So that was the first time I got to do it. Anyway, Fanny Bryce, uh, I was able to really work on it in my acting class. My acting teacher has changed my life. She's the most incredible woman. Well, this is where you got your idea for your one woman show, really, basically, on this acting workshop. That's right. Your idea came, you were doing, tell me now. It was four years ago. Yeah. Um, I was in my Monday night acting workshop that starts at 6 p.m. and goes until 4 in the morning sometimes. Wow. I mean, it's an intense, wonderful people. Susan Batson, who studied with Lee Strasberg and part of the actor's studio. Yes. You know, fantastic actors in this class. In New York. In New York. And I thought, okay, and it was a class to develop our own work, which is so brilliant because we always have to depend on others to hire us. Right. So she wanted us to have a place that we could develop our own work. And I started thinking, oh, I'll do a medley for a cabaret act. Mm -hmm. And I threw together a couple songs. She said, oh, come with the love, with love songs. Right. So I came and I got this idea to make my own script out of my eclectic repertoire right. and turn it into a story uh -huh. and really go from the acting point of view. And I knew I could sing anything and I thought, I thought well, it would be fun to really dig into the, to the actress. Mm -hmm. And that's how it began. And we got 15 minutes together and we did a backers a backers audition uh -huh. and got a director and producer and I expanded to hour to an right, hour show right, right. and then moved on from there. A New York romance. What a title. Come on, tell me about this title. I love My it. My mother thought of it. Yeah, Isn't that great? Really? <laughs> ah, this girl in New York mm -hmm. looking for a, her, her love. Yeah, it's really it's, the 90s it, it, career woman that's story. That's what I said to my friend. This is a 90 girl, baby, yeah. and she's wonderful. Yeah. If anyone out there wants to see a show about a 90s girl, yeah. whew, this and, show is dynamic. And it's so difficult for women uh, who are, we're so, are, we career women who are so driven in uh -huh. our careers, but we need romance too. And I think uh -huh. this is kind of that telling of that struggle uh -huh. of the strong woman really trying to get a romance. I love your opening of the show when you walk in and the door <laughs> slams and you fall on the floor and you're going, ah! the opera yeah it's, it's actually an opera the whole thing is an opera well it's really sung through like sung, an opera is yeah, but I sing through. as you know opera pop rock and roll yeah, jazz do Broadway don't you rap everything Broadway rap jazz jazz Sanders and blues. also play the flute I play the come flute. on well I started well. at nine years old maybe even younger uh, studying the flute and, and I, you're wonderful at it thank oh, you wonderful I was gonna be a, a flutist flautist uh -huh. I, I, that was uh, uh -huh what I was going to do and, and so I studied all the way through high school with an incredible teacher. 61 songs in the show, come on Mary, 61 songs. When I counted them up I couldn't believe it, I couldn't believe it, 61 songs. And non-stop, non I mean there's no intermission, one hour yeah. and a half, 90 minute yeah. show. Mm -hmm. What does it, I mean the energy, you are just... Incredible. I hired a trainer in New York, I had to. <laughs> right, you had to, go ahead. Yeah, because you know, and that, that uh, I have an exercise section where she's How trying to get herself and together. How and sing? You're singing and you're breathing, eating, I mean, you're eating and breathing, and it's breathing without no uh, controls. How do you do that? That's incredible. I think incredible. it's just one of my talents. I think it's just something that, is a talent. it's just something that I have in me. I don't think <laughs> I worked on that. that just and happens. you're exercising and you're singing. Wow. That's a tough one. That's a, that that one. Is it is it tough for you up there? It's yeah. it's wonderful. I I'm still learning how to pace myself as far as during uh -huh. the day and but it's 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 so fun. It's Very so Satrakian. What a name. Yeah. How come you didn't change it? You wanted to keep it or you know what? I did it's change it for, th for three years. I did uh, three months. I changed it and uh -huh. then I had people in New York calling me who I hadn't 
talked to in so long, and uh -huh. I started building a name in New York, and right. so I was afraid to change it, really. You did a lot of cabaret in Manhattan, did I, you? Well, I did some. I did mostly off-Broadway, um, uh -huh. Colette Collage and Hana 1939 by Bob Merrill with Julie Wilson, wonderful cabaret I love singer. her. I adore she's her. Great, and yes. the, the I've interviewed her several times here. Oh, uh, she's a she wonderful, wonderful woman. She comes here at the uh, Roosevelt Hotel, and she does her uh, one show. Uh -huh. But where do you plan to take this show? Well, our hope is to go off-Broadway uh -huh. in the fall. And, and really do a real run off-Broadway. And who directed it? Uh, Jeff Wilson, uh -huh. a wonderful man who is a general manager for many Broadway shows, The Scarlet Pimpernel, uh, Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk, right. and Carousel. And he's a very talented director, so I've been really blessed to have him on board. Favorite song in the show? Because you're doing 61 songs. <laughs> oh, I mean, There's so many wonderful special moments. The are. music that makes me dance is a special one it's to my me. my favorite. Because Funny Girl is so special yeah, to me, too. Yeah. And I, the intimacy of that song. Yeah. Teach Me Tonight is a, a special song to me, too. That's a dynamic song. And, the way and, you build it up. Oh. You build that thing. You build everything up. And some of the quieter moments I really adore. Yeah. Like Art Garfunkel's song. Um, uh, oh, gosh, it went out of my head. The uh, song that he went off, All I Know. All I Know. I bruise you, you bruise me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's show my audience a clip. You just sure. a nice clip for that this would be wonderful. wonderful show. And it's, uh, it's a great show at the Coast Playhouse, and it's called A New York Romance. This gal has brought New York to Manha uh, Manhattan to L.A. Let's see.
the audience uh, the night I was there, I'm, I'm sure every night, the audience seems to, uh, California audiences and New York audiences, the East Coast, a little different. Yeah. Am I right? I think you're right. It's a little different, but I had to start that audience, but boy, when someone starts it, it's... Oh, they're so right there, and you're such a wonderful audience. No, oh. but I'm not, you know... But yeah, they, they, they really get They get seem very like involved. following the leader here. Mm -hmm. They just mm -hmm. don't know what to do. They yeah. don't know where to applaud in songs or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's difficult uh, theater in New York, but California's it's learning. It's getting there. Yeah. It's getting there. Th Absolutely. I'm not gonna. <laughs> everybody says you're putting it down. So well, I love New York. New mm -hmm. York. Is, see, you're used to a New York audience. More body and just j just willing to put it all out. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because mm -hmm. you really give it out. You know, yeah. you really work hard at it. Yeah. You must be exhausted every night because you're yeah. an hour and a half on this show. I mean, you're giving your every ounce of. Yeah, I, it's it's interesting. Some nights, uh, you certainly I'm certainly still up right after the right. show because you just want to keep flying. But mm -hmm. I have to be very careful to just, you know, let myself mm -hmm. come down and then really get a good night's sleep. And uh, you sing opera. You mm -hmm. do. I mean, not just you know, just not just jazz or rap or musical or the play the flute. Mary, you're an opera singer. You, how many languages do you do? You do I, I you sing in I, I sing in Italian and German and French uh -huh. and a little Spanish. Interesting, but the I've show, the favorite show of musicals. What did you? Which one was your favorite of uh, of Broadway? In, in all the oh of all the of, shows of, you've of done. all the shows I've done. Yeah. Oh, do you have a favorite? A probably Funny Girl, but um, <laughs> yeah, we keep bringing back coming back. That's to that okay. One. That's yeah, Fatty that's, Bryce. That's one of my just all time favorites. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Streisand is probably, who was your, when growing up, who was your... Uh, well, I really listened to, as you know from my dad, from the from the clip, all, you know, Beatrice K, all the real early, early singers, yes, yes. Uh, when I was really little. And then Simon and Garfunkel, and, you know, the, the, I love those lyrics. I listened to a lot of the people with lyrics like Carole King That's and James Taylor. That's important for a good singer, mm -hmm. isn't it? You just get involved in the lyrics. Because that becomes an actress. That's it. See, you're listening to the lyrics. That's what Sinatra had, such a great oh. style. He the was, king of that. He wasn't was he? because he list he did the lyrics. This, that's acting. That's right. And that's what. And uh, that's what I love to connect to. Yeah, boy, yeah. when they come to see Mary Satrakian at the um, little theater called the uh, Coast Playhouse, in a New York romance, they're gonna they got a lesson for themselves because you're a hidden gem. Thank I you. I mean, really a hidden gem because you're here how long? For five more weeks, all the way through August twenty third, uh -huh. and Thursdays through Sundays, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night at eight. Uh -huh. And three o'clock matinee on Sunday. I have never raved as long as I've been doing this show, my television show. I have seen a performer like you on stage with rare, truthful, honest talent. And that's what you had that oh, night. And I'm so. sure you have it every night. And that's what the audience, they come to see a Mary Satrakian's performance. That's my goal. That's what I want. I you want them to see that true intimacy. And is it hard for you to do a one-woman show than a regular book show, Mary? I think it's 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 so exciting to be able to have your own your own. Your own. I, I fortunately have an incredible crew around me, which is so important. Who are they? Uh, my director Jeff Wilson, my wonderful stage manager Terry Terry Smiley, who came out from New York and is right. really there with me. Uh, Steve and Kevin in the booth. But you do a lot of uh, theater and movies and television. Mm -hmm. You've done films. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the film you've done. Uh, I did just a, a some little little parts in a in a Blue matter. Steel and uh -huh. Delirious and Delirious, uh, yes. Yeah. And also and you were on uh, Golden Girls. The Golden Girls. Tell me about the Golden Girls. Oh, that those. was just fantastic. Uh, uh, a dear friend of mine, Lex Passeris, was the uh -huh. director on, on uh -huh. associate director on that too, and I got to be. Uh, uh, a dog show manager. It was a, the, the the one that Betty Betty White goes and becomes a, a, uh -huh. a interviewing the dog show, and um, anyway, sh it was it was really fun. Mary, if you weren't an uh, actress singer, what would you have done? What would you do? I've thought about that many times. I love to teach, so that's mm -hmm. certainly something mm -hmm. that that I want to do now too. You want to teach? I, I well, I want to do master classes and and really help youth especially those who love entertainment and who want to be in the arts. Uh -huh. I think it's important to give back that way to young people. You're having fun with the show. See, oh, if you're not having best. fun, don't do it. Is that, that what you would say to... Uh, absolutely. You have to, it takes so much perseverance to continue in this, this field. Uh, it's, it's a, you're on the line to the time and 
and you get a lot of rejection even when you're good and it's, right. it's, it's very difficult. You have to really believe in yourself and have those who want to help support you and, uh, emotionally. You mm -hmm. know. It's, it's Are wonderful. you spiritual, Mary? You I seem like so. you're very spiritual, uh, especially when you do the ballads. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like you are. I, I, I think there's a higher power that comes through us all, uh -huh. and, and that's what really touches all of us. Uh -huh. The style, your style is so... Um, there's a wonderful opera singer, I cannot think of her name, and she's one of my favorites, Maria too. Maria Callas? No, she's I love her, no. She's from New Zealand, the oh, okay. uh, Maui girl. Oh. Kei, ki, 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 ki. She's oh. the best in the world. Oh, I And, uh, boy, when I heard you sing, you're, you're on key. Well, what, what I was going to say about the opera, too, is that it's so wonderful to sing opera and have a real acting moment coming through it. Uh, because many people don't hear opera in quite that way. They hear more the sound, sound of the voice. Yes. And this, for me, is really bringing the character through the opera. And so people that have never enjoyed opera uh -huh. can finally feel it a little bit stronger, mm -hmm. which, which, is, which is my hope. Uh -huh. you know? I love when you go into the, uh, the refrigerator <laughs> and you pour a drink <laughs> and then you got the straw. That was that's hysterical. There's a lot, the comedy, a lot of comedy, a lot of comedy written in that mm -hmm. show. It's uh, not just dramatic, but it's an opera though. It really is an opera, though, Mary. Yeah, it really is all sung. It I only is. speak a couple times. You do, mm -hmm. yes, just a couple times. Yeah. D has your father uh, seen the show? Yes, he yeah. saw it in the hour form, and he came opening night here, and uh, he looked pretty proud. So. What neat. would you say to women about the show who are coming to see the show? What are they telling you? I think the women really relate to this show mm -hmm. so much. Like we said, it's the 90, 90s woman's right. love story, and they've all been there in one way or another. I get out self-help books and reading that. We've all done everything. Go uh -huh. to the refrigerator and get out the cabinet. I don't care Park. where you are, New York, Chicago, San Doesn't Francisco. Doesn't matter. Right. Doesn't matter. Right. Uh, so it's, it just crosses over that, and, and to be able to, to live that and laugh and uh -huh. enjoy and you know, be moved by it all yes. at once, which is what I'm hoping the show does. What has been the hardest for you in the show? The exercise section is pretty hard. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I agree there. Um, I agree. Though I, I'm finding a, it's, it's also one of the m most fulfilling because it's so fun. Uh, I do, I am able to go from opera right to a big belting number and that, that, right. that is a challenge but also really fun. and. It's 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 really probably after the show and in between making sure I'm I'm really ready to mm -hmm. get on stage and and be as prepared as I can. Vocally. You backstage before you come out, mm -hmm. you're really preparing yourself. To, how do you key yourself into this? Because it's woo. I really go into the character and what's happened uh, the previous circumstance before I come on stage. Uh -huh. And basically, she's been left at the door with uh, her boyfriend Bill, mm -hmm. and and so I really have to go into the acting of that and. Very, go very deeply into that and, and uh, be in that pain when I come through that door. And so it's very funny when you come in, but it's because I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. What was your life like in New York, not just as an actress working? You know, you said that you had to work as a waitress. Mm -hmm. you had a, you're starting your career as a singer, mm -hmm. actress, studying. Yeah. <sighs> that's, that's the goal, isn't it? You've got to aim yeah. for your goal and work. Mm -hmm. That's right. People think it's just getting it there. You've got to... It's the journey. When I figured out that it's about what the journey, going through the journey and yes. enjoying the journey, because if you're just going for that one final step, if you just want the end result, right. you're not going to have a good life. You're not going to have a good time. Or, or, or even the bumps along the way, you learn so much from them. Mm -hmm. So it's been a journey. I don't want to go back to it. You know, I'm so uh -huh. excited about what's happening now and moving forward. But... Uh, it's really about the journey. It was it was really wonderful. Um, you really learn what a dollar is and what that means. And mm -hmm. so when you start making more money, especially in your field, gosh. It feels when so you were good. at Stanford studying, mm -hmm. uh, what did you learn a lot from Stanford? Because people I in college, they really you got to prepare yourself, don't you believe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I think I learned so much from the student body. There are so many interesting people there, uh -huh. and I had an inc it was in dormitory situations right, for several years, and uh, put on student productions that I learned uh -huh. more probably from than I've learned from anything in my life. Yeah, Jodie Foster, same thing. She went back to school yeah. and studied right. and became a great actress, and that's Incredible. what I think. That's the basic thing, is, is really studying, preparing yourself. Preparing. You have to, you have to do the work and, and really, like I said, get that technique for the singing, get the technique right, for the acting. Right, 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 right. You know, I, th I think I really got the technique for the acting when I moved to New York and studied with Susan Batson. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Is that the only one you studied with, with Susan? Um, uh, Lily Parker. You do dancing too, don't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, I did, did so you some do class. It all. Yeah, you have to so kind of try to do all of it. Yeah, you prepare yeah. yourself at all. That's right. Well, the show is really a great show, and I love it. It's at the Coast Playhouse. And you say it's going to be there until when, Mary? Through August 23rd. Uh huh. And again, it's Thursday through Sundays. And the songs are from Gershwin. Tell me about the songs. Who are the some of the songs? Oh, give me Bernstein, a Sondheim, Rodgers and Hammerstein, oh. and and from from artists like Turner, Bette Midler, Mary Chapin Carpenter, Bernadette Peters, oh. uh, then Minotti, Puccini, um, even Puccini. You even have, Puccini, yes, you have yeah. All. La Rondine, I sing in the shower. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. yeah the shower Aria. thing is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Is that you on the silhouette? Oh, yeah, it's a light silhouette. shining through. You're on a silhouette in the body of... That's wonderful. Oh, it really is. Thank you. So you sh at first, you shocked the audience at the beginning, but yeah. boy, did they get... They sat back and, wow, Mary Satrakian <laughs> really took them by surprise. <laughs> Where did this girl come from? Oh. New York. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're Armenian, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. Yeah, and you had a lot of Armenians are coming to see you. I'm very thrilled about that. They, I, my, one of my um, investors and main, you uh -huh. know, really helping get the show is uh, the AGBU in New York, uh -huh. uh, which is an Armenian group, and they've just been so I supportive. I think, oh, yeah, they terrific. were there, and they love you. Yeah. And I did, too. Oh, and good. I really want to thank you for a, a great, great evening, thank Mary Tetrakian. And I'll be back at that playhouse to see you before you close. <laughs>